I bought three of these exact same box cars from one seller on eBay. Mainly I bought them because of their smooth sides. They're not collectible, so I don't feel too badly about taking them apart, sanding them down, and giving them a new paint job with some fresh decals. Wet sanding both cleans and smooths the surface for the decals and the paint that are going to come a little bit later. But before I do that, I want to drill some holes in the rooftop for some battery powered LEDs. Uh, begin with a small starter hole to make sure everything is in the right spot and then move on to the 5mm drill bit because my LEDs are 5mm. I'm going to have a total of 8 LEDs poking through the rooftop and they fit pretty snugly right now, but later on I will use some hot glue from inside to hold it in place. The sides are going to be white because I use white decal paper and the rooftop I'm going to paint a contrasting black. In an earlier video I made one of these movie box cars for Silver Streak but this one is going to be for Kelly's Heroes, which came out in 1970, 71 maybe. To the right of the door on each side will be this graphic advertising Kelly's Heroes in theaters this summer. And to the left of each sliding door, uh, there will be a scene from the movie, different on both sides. These LEDs and battery box came from eBay and a 9 volt transistor battery should have no trouble uh, making four of the lights flash and four amber lights on continually. I've stripped about one half of an inch of insulation from the end of each wire and I'm going to twist them together and add a little bit of soldering flux to the, I don't know, what would you call that? The group of wires and this flux will help the solder flow into the strands and make those four pieces into one wire. Preheating the wires and using the flux will help the solder flow down into each individual copper strand. I'm also going to add some heat shrink tubing over each side or actually just one side of the wiring and it has to be added before you make your final connections. I twist the five wires from one side with the four wires from the other side and I'm going to solder that center exposed section. I'll add a little bit more flux and when I'm done everything will be one continuous circuit. Now I just slide that heat shrink insulation over the exposed area and then I will use a butane lighter to melt that down or it shrinks actually just over the exposed area and now everything all the wires are insulated like they should be. So the wiring system is complete and ready to be installed. I push the LEDs through the holes in the roof and they're held in place with some hot glue. It's a snug fit but everything goes back together. Somewhere along the line I lost the video footage of when I applied the decals to the side of the boxcar, but this is how it turned out. If you want to see how um, I prepare the decals for other projects. You can go check out there's a Silver Streak boxcar that's very similar to this, and it just shows how the decals were printed, then they were clear coated, allowed to dry for a while, and then soaked in water and applied to the side of the boxcar. Pretty much the same as what you see here, 
you just don't get to see that step in this video. But I have plenty of other videos you can watch if you want to see how to print and apply homemade decals, custom decals. And that about wraps up this episode of Bob's Workshop, another completed custom decal project in the books. I hope you enjoyed this one. I like this movie. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. And as always, thank you for watching Bob's Workshop. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It would mean a lot to me. Until next time, take care.